Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. This is only episode two, but before we get into anything, thank you so much for over 50k views already, over 4.5k likes. You guys seem to be excited about this series, and I am as well. And boys, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for basically coming in strong with the support on this one let's start it off though with arsenal fan tv finally new manager gets a new goalkeeper for arsenal don't be a wenger first of all mate love your camera quality that's probably the best clip i've gotten so far also hey man i'm not going to be a wenger and obviously some people are not going to like what i'm doing with the transfers oh, Robbie. I don't know what he's doing. The disrespect towards Perma to Saka. You can't let the lad go. Let him retire at the club. He's a legend. I'm shocked. You did transfer list. Shaka. The beast. The beast. One old bloke. Great signing. Good start from a new manager and some fresh faces in the club, which is great. I can't believe it. A terrible, terrible second half performance. I mean, is it going to be Wenger out, Shani in, same old, same old. That was the first chance to win some silverware. It could be the only chance we get this season. And our players played terribly in the second half. Well, that went from 0 to 100 real quick. Um, first of all, hey man, good job. And then like, oh, you suck. Hey, cheers, buddy. So the Arsenal board has finally decided to get rid of Wenger. I'm so happy about that. But uh, I think um, instead of being linked with Kimmich, I would actually like San Jose. But uh, I think that's too much to dream of. Really? Seriously? You wanted this. You wanted this. Okay? You guys wanted this. I'm telling you, it's, it's not me. You want San Jose at this club. Alright then. Alright, if you want him, well, I guess it's time to go after him. I already had a comment with over 600 likes on it. Forget about Milinkovic, Savic and Kimmich. Forget about those two. No, 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 no. Those are not real tra targets. This is the man. Mikel San Jose. The only guy that anyone cares about on my channel. It's not my channel. This is actually San Jose Sports, boys. This is not me. You know what? 60 million? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and offer a transfer fee. Here we go. Let's make it realistic. Let's give them a 50 million offer because this is the only guy that we care about, right? Mikel San Jose, yeah, that's a fair offer. They're happy with that. You know what? Uh, no, I'm not buying him. Are you crazy? But now let's get into this episode. Forget about all of that. Thank you guys so much for all of the videos you have sent me on Snapchat. Keep up those videos to this episode as well. Give me your reaction to anything that is happening in this episode. And most importantly, please, please, please film yourself in proper lighting. Just like the first video you have seen today. Proper lighting. Audio is good. Don't be too silent. Just, just man up, okay? When you want to talk shit about me on Snapchat, go ahead and man up and put some good quality in there. Boys, also, if you guys could... I know you can, I believe in you. If you can actually smash over 4,000 likes on this episode as well, I promise you there will be another Arsenal episode tomorrow. So it's all in your hands, boys, all in your fingertips. Now, in this episode, we are starting off with the transfers. And obviously, it's a big deal. First game we lost against Chelsea in a community shield. I know you're not happy. You thought I would be bringing up a better performance after being 2-0 up against Chelsea. I can't believe that I bottled that. But that is just showing us that we need better defenders and players that do work towards the defense a bit more than Ramsey and Wilshere. Both of them will remain at our club, but we want to bring in a proper CDM. Now the question was Milinkovic Savic or Joshua Kimmich and over 70% have said it should be Savic and you know what I'm really happy about that because I personally think that this guy 
could be a future star man he could be a huge player in real life and also for us in this game so let's get into the negotiations straight away in this episode 31 million is what he is currently going for we will be offering a transfer fee i know he has quite some potential on him probably so let's just go in and offer 30 let's start off with 35 maybe 30 three let's start off with 33 i know it's an odd number but we'll put in a sell-on clause of 15 percent as well i'm guessing that they will be asking for like 50 just letting you guys know in advance and yes they are asking for 53.3 million that is a bit too much isn't it let's let's be honest here we are jumping in there back in there i should say a 40 million offer come on Let's be realistic, man. I know we are a Premier League club, but you don't have to milk the money like this. 46 million. Okay, they are at least going down, so that's good. They're not really depending on that 50 million price tag. We'll be putting in an offer of 42.5. Let's meet in the middle. 42.5 million for Milinkovic Savic. It's a done deal. But of course, there's still the contract talks that we need to talk about in just a little bit so the first step has been finished now he gets 49 actually 50k wages let's put it that way he has four years on a, on his contract that's the reason why we had to pay that much for him but he would be an amazing player i've seen people telling me on snapchat that he would be the next viera for our team and i genuinely believe he could be the next viera and uh, he is just a tall figure who can move forward and backwards as well so that is exactly the viera that we are looking for so nice to see you both blah 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 i don't care about the talking important player <laughs> of course i would have given you crucial but you want to be important sure mate let's go ahead with that one now I'll be offering him a four-year contract, the same that he had at Lazio right now. He should be accepting that. Yes, he is. And then we will not, a, not be going ahead and putting a release clause in there. So that is true. We are accepting that. And then how much does he want on his wages? So he was getting 50k. I don't want to make the same mistake that I made with Oblak. I'll be offering him 50k and a 1 million or 1 million signing bonus. With Oblak, we had 80k on his wages and we offered 120. Some people were saying that I paid a little bit too much. Maybe this time around, it will be just perfect for Milinkovic Savic to come into the Premier League for 50k. He actually wants 55k. That is definitely something I can do. That is definitely working out. Milinkovic Savic has now joined Arsenal. Welcome to the club, buddy. That is a huge signing. Milinkovic Savic, welcome, my man. We can just call him Savage from now on, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, probably that's going to be the name that I'm calling him. Not Milinkovic Savage, but Savage. Let's let's just put that on his on his kit. Can we put actually? Can we put names on their kit? I don't think so. You can you cannot change that. But that would be lovely if you could give like nicknames to your players. That'd be cool. All right, boys. Santi Casola has sold, and Mikel San Jose is looking forward to contract negotiations. I'm sorry, mate, but that is just not happening. We do get an offer for Petr Cech, and we will be declining that one. So Santi Casola has been sold. That means we can now probably go ahead and go after a new striker the stuff with uh, Danny Welbeck we are still waiting on the Tigres transfer to finally work out hopefully it will work out but then uh, we will be back up to around 40 million which is a huge sum if you are looking to bring in a backup striker but we do have really high rated strikers so a backup for them should be a decently rated talent with a lot of potential as well so that could be working out perfectly we will be up against Leicester though so let's jump right into it and try our best and then we'll be looking for that backup striker as we go into our first match in the premier league let me just go through a couple of comments a couple of the top comments from the last episode by the way thank you guys for all the comments you have left there was some insane support in the comments down below here's one from uh no name ninja and he says please don't only win fa cups <laughs> i will try my best i will definitely try my best and then he said here's manjot singh he says winger out johnny in even though i hate arsenal i will still follow this career mode because you're well you are doing it thank you very much for that i've seen a lot of comments like those the fact that you guys don't like arsenal but still will be watching this career mode means a lot to me 
we will make this team our own. It will be a lot of fun. So thank you, thank you very much. And there's another one from PCU Vlogs, which is considering that stuff as well. He says, very angry you stop Parma, but I have no doubt that my favorite YouTuber can turn me around. Love you, man. Love you too. Let's get into this game. So the first game of the Community Shield, we have lost. This is our first game, the start to the Premier League season. We are going for all the trophies that we are taking part in in this year. So hopefully we can get a good start right here against Leicester. A lot of talk still around Leicester because Riyad Mahrez is just not turning up to the training sessions. What do you guys think about those things happening in football these days where players are like refusing to play or just show up to training sessions? I know that they can, that they can get like hefty fines, which will cost them a lot of money. But at the end of the day, it seems like players are gaining a lot of power power over their own club and I don't know if that is something I like I I kind of do like the club having more power over the player but now these days with all the money players have a lot of power and sometimes the club just can't resist and they need to sell the players so that's something that I want to see you guys talking about in the chat in the chat in the comments down below just let me know what you think about this whole situation with Mahrez and a lot of players that have done the same kind of stuff in the past as well oh god Oh God, no, no, Jamie Vardy. Whew. That's Oblak with a great save. Ramsey, I see you there, Mikitarian. Mikitarian, La Cassette. A driven finesse could be working out in that position. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I got it. No, stop, folks. Stop, folks. Our defense is struggling big time. Ramsey puts in a leg and does get the ball away at the end. Not really, because Wilshire just passed it straight into our opponents there. I am not able to get the ball off of Leicester right now. Oh, Kazaki, are you joking? Come on. I feel like every time I play against Okazaki, I concede a goal from him. Is that true, guys? Can you let me know in the comments? I feel like Okazaki is someone that has scored against us multiple times. What a strike that is. Mustafi trying to get to it. The ball is moving away from Oblak. It hits the side of the net, which means that it is kind of unsavable for Oblak. A huge amount of power on that one. But we start off into the season at the Emirates with a goal conceded. That's not how it was supposed to start, man. We need to do a lot better or my career at Arsenal is starting off quite badly here. Need some support here. Ramsey down the right with Bellerin. Bellerin does see Ozil now with some space. Ozil, Alba, driven finesse. Schmeichel still running through here. Alba turns around, finds Lacazette. Lacazette loses it in a penalty area. That is something that has happened a lot in this half. We do bring it back into Alba though. Lacazette turns around nicely on the finesse. This time, Lacazette from outside the box. We are back into the game. What a finish right there. Right before halftime, man. That is such a crucial moment. That is lovely. The Arsenal fans will now be filled with hope for the second half. Look at that one right there. That's such a good finish from him. No chance for Schmeichel. We are back into the game. This angle is actually perfect. Schmeichel, could he have gotten to it? I don't know. If he didn't do that one step right there, he might have. But let's be honest, man. We scored a nice goal. You know what I might try? A lot of people have been talking about a different formation that I should be using. It was the 4-4-1-1, um, which a lot of people have been talking about. Um, I would be playing Aubameyang up top, Mkhitaryan down the right. This would be the formation. I might give it a try for the first couple of minutes of the second half because I do feel like... I do feel like our build-up play is not that good yet. I feel like Lacazette and Alba are kind of left on their own. Mkhitaryan and Ozil a bit too far away from them. Maybe I need to change their uh, instructions, but for now, let's try this formation. Some people have suggested it to me, to all those people. If we win, hey man, shout out to you. If we lose, hey, it's your fault. Alba though. Alba though. Alba! Oh my god, no! Aubameyang with an unnecessary skill because Maguire was already out of position. Aubameyang in a good spot to take a shot. Ramsey turns around nicely. He finds Lacazette again. Lacazette turns. Lacazette with some space. Lacazette hits it above the crossbar. I think we need to make some changes. Um, Uzi is tired. He will be coming off right now. Um, I think... Hmm, we definitely need attacking players, man. We only have like Welbeck here. I'll be subbing in Welbeck down the right hand side. 
Awobi and Welbeck joining into the game. What did I just do? Oh, what? I just don't know how I threw that one like that. I, I have no idea. I pressed it a lot more. I wanted him to throw it over to Lacazette there. Welbeck gets it back. Good job. Koscielny. Oh my god, that's a terrible pass. Oh, block. Good save. Only have 18 minutes, man. Come on. Oh, yes. Lacazette. Alba. Iwobi. Iwobi, please don't mess this up. Play it back. Lacazette again. Lacazette again. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Will he score another one? Lacazette. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm nervous. Lacazette plays it over to Wilshire. Jack Wilshire has Lacazette in support. The pass is incomplete. It is not good enough. We had to go through right there in order to have a chance to win against Leicester. Arsenal fans, not happy at all. Not happy at all. I can already see a couple of raging reactions, a couple of rants coming in. First game at the Emirates. It's a draw against Leicester. Oh, and yes, yeah. I actually did realize that I had Milinkovic Savic, but I didn't play him. Yep, boys. That's a me, Johnny Sports. I was just like Wenger. I seriously was just like Wenger right there because Arsene Wenger just bought Lacazette and I think the first couple of games he had him on the bench. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. Am I actually the next Wenger right here? Milinkovic Savic, I'm sorry, mate, but you're coming back into the team. I'll be summing him in uh, for Wilshire. Wilshire will be a good substitute for our bench. I am 100% sure about that one, but I do need um these boys these young boys in my team right now nelson will be coming in and maitland niles i will put him onto the bench as well i have one center back too many right there here's the deal boys welbeck has been sold he has been sold for 19.5 16.5 coming into our club he didn't want to join the other teams but he joined tigres well if that's your choice that's your choice my man there's one player that I've had commented about so many times. Not San Jose. It is actually someone that I haven't used yet. Lautaro Martinez. Every single career mode I've done so far on FIFA 18, people have been shouting his name into my comments the whole freaking time. Lautaro Martinez could actually be a decent backup for our striking position. He's apparently an exciting prospect. So we'll put him onto the shortlist right now. And I think I might go after him straight away because I don't really have the time to scout him. I do definitely need a backup striker. Now, here's the deal. If I can come up with a couple of suggestions my own, I might not buy him. But let me just think about this one for a second. After thinking about this for a little while, I think there is one player that Arsenal fans would like to see back at Arsenal. And it is actually a talented player that can play in many, many positions and he is a complete beast on Ultimate Team, considering his uh, foot cards, especially the inform Serge Gnabry. Boys, he was at Arsenal, he moved away, he had a couple of teams that he played for by now, and I think it would be nice to see him not coming back because he's on loan. Nice. Hold on a second. Oh, we have a couple of strikers in here. We already have scouted a couple. That is nice. Maybe there's someone in here that might interest me, you know. I've already seen one that might be interesting for our team as a backup striker. And that name is Callum Wilson. This guy's 25. He is a really, really good striker with amazing physical statistics. And if he could jump into the team as a substitute, I think he could have a huge impact onto the gameplay. Callum Wilson... Hmm. He's English as well, you know. I'll be putting him onto the short list right now. Let's think about that. So here's the deal. I was looking at Callum Wilson, but then I realized that this guy has a release clause of 12.7 million. So if we want to, we could pay the release clause and get him already. But the thing is, um, I do see that he's not really the tallest of players. So he would kind of be like a super sub most of the time hmm i will i will actually negotiate you know i want to negotiate with the club i want to see if they want more than 12.7 million because then we can still jump in there and go for the release clause but now i think the thing that i'll be doing is i'll be offering a player swap 
Do I have anyone that I kind of want to get rid of? Goalkeepers? Not really. Uh, fullbacks? No, definitely not. Centerbacks? Don't think so. Oh, we have this young kid, by the way. That is a new signing as well for Arsenal. Rob Holding? No. Chambers? No. Um, strikers? We don't really have that many. We will keep all of those. Wingers? Nope. Midfielders? That's another nope. So, I guess... I have to go ahead and offer a transfer fee. I'll be offering them. They want 12 million on the release clause. Let's say eight and see what they say. Actually not eight, let's say 10. Just wanna kind of figure out how much they actually want for him. Oh, perfect. So we are not even going for the amount that they wanted initially for the release clause. We might still be overpaying for a little bit here, but it's said that he's an exciting prospect. So we're actually going for a big talent right here who I've never seen play. I genuinely have never seen him play and I don't think I've ever used him. So this could be a good one. This could be a really good one, boys. Lautaro Martinez, he has been in my comments for the longest time ever. So I guess you guys will be happy about this one. He would be a rotation player. Let's say, let's say sporadic at first. Does he accept that? Yes, he does accept that. That's perfect. And then we'll jump in with a five year contract. You're a young kid. Perfect. He does accept. He has a nice haircut though. I like the haircut. He does kind of look like himself on the picture. So I do appreciate that. He doesn't want a release clause this time. That's good. And then we'll be offering him his wages. Now we have no idea how much this guy earns. I would say let's start off with like a cheeky 30k because I don't really have that much left. And let's give him a 1 million bonus. Not even, not even 1 million. Let's give him a 500k bonus. You're a young kid. You don't need that much money. Let's jump in there. What is he saying? Well, he's happy. I probably could have paid a lot less for Lautaro Martinez in the transfer fee and in the wages as well. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy that we have brought in a very talented player that I personally don't know that much about. But I'm very much looking forward to see his statistics right now. Let's check out his stats right here. Lautaro Martinez, 72 rated. He has 80 acceleration, I like that. 81 sprint speed, perfect. Stamina is actually quite good. 80 strength. Holy shit. He seemed quite small. That's interesting. So he's kind of like a, a Tevez type of character, I would say. 74 finishing, 74 shot power. Not too bad, not too bad. What was his composure like? 69, that's okay. Um, 19 years old, 5 foot 9. Argentina, is he the next Tevez? Is this guy the next Tevez? I think we just bought the next Tevez. High attacking work rate, right-footed striker. Sadly, no four-star skills, but he seems to be a target forward. I think we might have brought in a really talented player, boys. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I really appreciate that. So he's coming in onto the bench. Lautaro Martinez has now joined Arsenal. And if you guys want to take a look at the stats of Milinkovic Savage as well, let's jump in there. I mean, his stats, his physical stats are unbelievable. Obviously, he's not the paciest guy in the team, but he is so good. 85 stamina, 88 strength, 85 vision. Just ridiculous. 85 jumping as well, so he is quite good in the air. Ball control and dribbling, really good for a center midfielder right there. Uh, finishing, <laughs> still pretty good. 80 long shots, 83 shot power. This might be our new Jacopo Desi. If he can score some long shots, man, he's already my favorite. What? He's a four-star skiller. I had no idea that Savage was a four-star skiller. Yo, this guy is getting better and better by the minute. And he already has three traits. Boys, I think this is definitely the biggest signing. What is he? He's a right footer? I think... Uh, Ramsey has a three-star weak foot. I'll keep him down the left for now, which doesn't give him that many opportunities to take long shots. But you know what, Ramsey, I'm sorry. Nah, I'll put him down to the right because then he can take some long shots in the top left corner. That is a huge signing, man. This team has definitely improved. Now we have a backup striker. I think I need a backup center attacking midfielder, boys. I think we need one more because we don't really have players to sub in for Ozil and Mkhitaryan yet. So if you guys want to, please go ahead in the comments down below. Give me a couple of suggestions for the um, center attacking midfield position. Talented players or even uh, already experienced players. We have a budget of, let's say, 30 million with a 153k wage budget. You tell me who to buy 
for the backup center attacking midfield position because currently we only have Iwobi and Maitland Niles and Nelson all of them are wingers none of them is actually good at passing so we do need someone as a backup for that position you need to let me know first game out of the Premier League man I know I bottled it but hey man We'll be stronger next time, hopefully. We'll be up against Stoke City, which is not an easy game. And I do think it's an away game. So that'll be even tougher. But again, boys, let me know. Comments down below. Which player should we get for the center attacking midfield position? And as always, man, bombard me with those Snapchat videos. Please, proper quality. Don't just show half your face. Put the camera on your face. And just give us your opinion on this episode. We brought in two very, very talented players. Two huge players for this career mode. But obviously, the first game wasn't that good. So I can already imagine that there could be a couple of rants coming in about that first game. Hey, like I said, did well though. He did do really well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is going to be episode number two of the Arsenal career mode. Looking forward to your Snapchat videos. Have a great day, boys. Smash that like if you haven't already. Take care. Peace.